Live from the beautiful Riverside Hotel on Las Olas Boulevard in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to the 2013 Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. We are live at the Riverside Hotel in downtown Fort Lauderdale for the 2013 Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. Welcome everybody, I'm Paige Bresky. And I'm Jessica Kuzovitsky. Bringing this to you from Ion, South Florida. And it's official, the parade starts with the amazing colorful fireworks. Wow, it looks beautiful out there. Publix is sponsoring this year's fireworks barge with shoots off fireworks the entire 12 miles throughout the parade route. Nothing like starting things off with a bang bang boogie. I wonder if Publix Aprons Catering made some goodies for those guys to eat along the way. I'm sure they get hungry cruising up and down the intercoastal. We have almost a hundred boats in tonight's parade. And this boat parade is the seventh largest one day spectator event in the entire country. Reader Digest rates it among the 100 best events in the United States. The Winterfest Boat Parade began 42 years ago. It's estimated to bring in 48 million tourism dollars each year. Beautiful, just beautiful out there. Nice effort by Publix. There are over 3,000 spectator watercrafts tonight and over a million shoreline spectators. to wave to this year's co-grand marshals aboard the JM Lexus showboat. Ryan Hunter Ray is the current reigning IndyCar champion and he calls Fort Lauderdale home. Co-grand marshal is Tracy Morgan, an actor and comedian well known for his roles on Saturday Night Live and 30 Rock. They are riding on the Nova Southeastern Bow. This great boat is brought to you by Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. This Grand Marshal showboat, as always, is a true reflection on the parade's theme, Passport to Paradise. Wow, what a beautiful, majestic boat out there. Nice decorations, nicely lit. And our Grand Marshals are getting everyone pumped up for tonight's event. The type of vessel you're looking at is a 120 foot showboat. That's just Beautiful. Really, really nicely done. Check out the mermaids out front. Here's Summer Wind with Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza and Anthony's Runway 84 on board. Look at the cool light of meatballs and martinis. All I want for Christmas is coal. Coal fired pizza, that is. I wonder if they have a big 1059 Paul and Young Ron pizza on there. Everyone looks like they're having a great time ab aboard the big 1059 boat tonight. Where's Miss Florida? We are looking for Miss Florida USA. Oh, there she is. There she, there she is. is. Looking stunning. Looks like she's managed to not spill a meatball on her dress so far. Better than I would have done. You guys better save me some food. Yeah, save us some food out there. They're on a 91-foot showboat tonight. Next up, here is the Berry Patch. This 39-foot oil cleanup vessel worked very hard during the BP spill of 2010. Colored lights all around the boat. That's a 30-foot Christmas tree with 5,000 LED lights. Hey guys, look at everyone dancing and having such a great time. That's really, really great to see everybody in the spirit of Christmas and just enjoying the night. Showing their holiday cheer and even the 
captain himself. Look at him. Cliff Berry Inc. putting this boat together. They travel all over the country to clean up other people's messes. All right. Next up, we have Caroline Sunshine from Disney Channel Shake It Up joins the Radio Disney Miami Road Crew as they light up South Florida on Radio Disney's Fala La 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 Days yacht. You can celebrate the holidays listening to Radio Disney where it's Fala La 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 Days all month long. Radio Disney, your music, your way. Caroline's rendition of holiday classic All I Want for Christmas is You is featured on Walt Disney Records Holiday Unwrapped, a collection of one, a collection of ten songs sung by stars from your favorite Disney Channel shows. Out now. All right. Next up, we have Freeman Orthodontist aboard Sapphire. Look at all the pretty smiles on this boat. They are sporting a winter wonderland. This is a restored Hatteras motor yacht. Freeman gives back to the community by working with schools and local charities. This year alone, they have collected over 300 toys for Toys for Tots. That's incredible. Next up, we've got a private entry, Toon Blue. Going to the islands aboard the Toon Blue, they've got parrots and dolphins and some totem poles, really creating a tropical paradise on board. Doing some dancing on the bow, friends and family aboard Tuned Blue. All right, here's a boat that's sure to make headlines. It's the WSVN 7 News boat featuring this year's theme, Covering Your World. Six Star Entertainment giving Channel 7 a boat with global appeal. Whenever and where net wherever big news breaks, 7 News always goes the distance to bring you the big stories. And of course, what good is a boat without a couple of anchors? And this one is sporting two of the best, Belkis Nuray and Craig Stevens. Hey guys, looks like they're having a good time up there in their red thrones. Beautifully decorated. And speaking of covering the world, Habitat for Humanity is making a world of difference in so many lives, and Channel 7 has been a proud Habitat partner for more than 30 years. The type of vessel they're on is a 130-foot showboat called the Venetian Lady. Okay, moving right along, we've got the Anita K with Florida Spine Specialists on board. I bet everyone there is feeling good. Oh yeah. Florida Spine Specialists do customized care for all facets of spinal injuries. The boat is all decked out in white. Look at those big stars. Hey guys. Looks like they're having fun up front over there. Love the flashing necklaces and the graphic. Wow, that's really glamorous. This company is very charitable. They're active with baseball teams and help out the local schools in the area. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This, this boat looks like a big party. I bet they're having an absolute blast on this boat. Not to mention having some absolutely exceptional drinks. Absolute vodka and southern wine and spirits making this amazing entry happen. Beautiful, guys. Interesting fact. Did you know every drop of absolute vodka in the world is made in one small town in Sweden? They could hire me for quality control. I'd move to Sweden. Next up, this boat decorated by Hospice by the Sea. They are celebrating their 35th birthday this year. Happy birthday, Hospice by the Sea. They provide care and support to patients and their families. They say all the lights on this boat represent the thousands of patients and families they've helped over the years. That's really a great, great thing. Here comes another beauty. Donna Harland and friends aboard the Ragmuffin. Ragamuffin adds more lights every year. 
Moving right along here, South Florida Ford aboard the Sundream. They're celebrating the Mustang's 50th anniversary. This entry has more ho horsepower than the Queen Mary. They are decorated in the iconic symbol of the Ford Motor Company. Look at all those lights. I bet they're dancing to Mustang Sally on board. Get it? Mustang Sally. Mustang celebrating its 50th anniversary. The boat looks great. Folks from South Florida Ford celebrating in style aboard the Sundream. Hey guys. Here comes another gorgeous boat, the Sea Wench. They're a bunch of Tiki Hut Sea Wenches tonight. This is a boatload of hippies from Denver, Colorado, enjoy, enjoying the warm Florida weather. Almost 3,000 swag and rope lights decorate this yacht. It's the third time the Sea Wench has been in the boat parade. They had so much fun last year, they wanted to come back. And we're happy they did. Ooh, I love that umbrella. This Make vessel is a 30-foot twin-engine cabin cruiser yacht. Here it is, people. The f another first-timer, La Pintita. Their passport to paradise is taking us to the North Pole. Pintita the Clown is on board with the folks from the North Pole. Oh, look it. There he is. Hey, Pintita. Hey, look at that dance Pintita's doing. Shake it, shake it, girl. She looks like she's having a wonderful time out there. They have their elves on board as well. Now here's a great group, the Freedom Waters Foundation. They take disabled kids and veterans out on the water in boats. Really, really nice cause. The boat there are in tonight was donated and they retro retrofitted it in handicap boaters. The young professionals in yachting helped to make that happen along with local businesses who donated over $50,000 in supplies. The type of vessel you're looking at is a 24 foot powerboat. What a great cause to take the disabled kids and veterans out on the water. Next up, you have a passport to prehistoric times on this boat. Look at that Christmas T-Rex on the front. First time in the parade for Rod Holder. Friends and family are on board with him. We're going to Hawaii aboard the Mr. CJ. It's, it's their seventh year in the parade for these guys. They're doing a luau on board tonight with a tiki hut. Look at that one in the back. She's got nice moves. Shake it, lady. This is a 23-foot powerboat you're seeing. Here comes the Rat Pack Miami. Nice old-fashioned Christmas lights on this boat. Marilyn Monroe is on board, and look, her skirt is blowing up. They also have Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra performing a duet. The Rat Pack is totally represented on this boat. They are the coolest cats in town. Meow. Here's a patriotic boat, the Triple Threat. The folks on board say the servicemen overseas would love a passport to home, America. They are all decked out in red, white, and blue lights tonight. Oh wow, look at their synchronized dancing. Dancing sailors up on the bow. Female sailors too. I love the choreography. I'm really impressed. The type of vessel you're looking at is a 52-foot sport fisherman. Even their costumes are in sync with the decorations of the boat. We've got the white, blue, and silver. Very well coordinated tonight. Nicely done, triple threat. Here 
here comes the brightly lit Junior Winterfest Captain Showboat powered by Florida Power and Light. This year's junior captain is 16-year-old Lauren Bendeski, who is bravely battling cancer. The Winterfest Junior Captain program began five years ago with 15-year-old Amanda Blake, who also fought cancer. FPL has taken this amazing program to a new level. Winterfest had 14 nominations for Junior Captain this year, and over 50,000 people viewed the contest on Facebook. Lauren was nominated by a prom to remember. That organization provides the ultimate prom experience for teens who have been affected by life-threatening illnesses. Love it. I love the sun shining and the flamingo, palm trees, parrots. It's so great to have FPL so involved with the sick children and helping them. Here comes the Musette Delta Sigma Theta Sorority on board tonight. This is a group which does major things, including Dress for Success, where they get clothes to needy people who are looking for work. And they also host job fairs. Delta Sigma Theta is celebrating 100 years this year. The national president, Dr. Paulette C. Walker, is on board with over 100 members of the South Broward chapter. Beautifully done tonight. Red is such a classy color. I don't think you can ever have too much red. Red is gorgeous and very outstanding. Very festive. I love the wreath around their letters. 100 years. That's incredible. 1913 through 2013. That's an incredible achievement. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority going down the intracoastal. <laughs> Here comes the Mousset 2. Holiday lights with red and white bows, red stars. And did you know Musette is available for private charters for any occasion? That's great. You see them cruising the Fort Lauderdale waterways all the time. Six stars for Musette 2. Very nice. Well done. Here come the sea cadets, all decked out in uniform. These cadets are from the Fort Lauderdale Sea Cadet Chapter. Captained by the Glacier Society. The type of vessel you're looking at is a 74-foot powerboat. Here is Stella Maris. We missed her last year. Glad you're back. This boat always creates such a sight on the parade crew. She's sporting her white and blue winter colors. That's a 70-foot custom cutter catch. I love the common wardrobe theme going on. Everybody's in white t-shirts or blouses and blue denim. It's very uniform. This one looks fun. Ooh, check this one out. Paradise Air aboard the Bimini Twist. They're, They're going old school with a mock-up of an old seaplane on top there. The wingspan on that thing is 20 feet. That plane takes you to Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. Bermuda, Bahama. And Kokomo. I smell a Beach Boys song. Bimini, Bimini Twist and Scott and Anita McKilvane always put on a good show. I love the costumes the girls are wearing out there in blue. They build and paint all the decorations themselves. Bimini Twist wins awards every single year. Kind of a Pan Am feel on that boat. Yeah, I love all the flags in the back. The next boat cruising on by. Very colorful, I would say. Here comes Miss Trish. Captain Ron has done it again with another great entry. His grandkids are always on board, and they're taking us to Africa through the Broadway musical, The Lion King. Friends and family on board helping the kids celebrate Christmas in a jungle paradise. And lots of festive holiday decorations. I love this one. I love the Lion King theme, and look at them all dressed up. So much detail. 
looks like a safari on the front end of that boat. On deck, we've got yet another colorful boat with a snow angel out front. Here's Mr. Bob. Their theme this year, lights, lights, and more lights. They have toy soldiers. They do the boat parade every year and have won lots of awards. For them, Winterfest is a family event. They all get together to decorate and do the parade. This is always one of the most striking boats in the parade every year. Here comes Team Zero Zero. First time in the parade for these guys. Looking good. They're decked out with 5,000 lights and inflatables. Friends and family on board. Look at Santa up top. This is a 30-foot power boat. Very nice. By the looks of it, they're on the way to the North Pole with that polar bear up top. Next up. Here comes the Island Runner, all decked out in light. Joe Mills and his family on board tonight. Here comes Extra Dirty. I bet they're drinking martinis on board. They used over 2,000 LED lights to decorate the boat. And of course, they have their friends and family on board. They won best sound last year, so they focused their attention on revving up the sound this year. Nice music. Sounds good, guys. Don't be afraid to dance along. Put your hands together. Well, well, check this boat out. It's called a Z-boat. You can actually turn your jet ski into a boat. Holds up to six passengers. It was developed right here in South Florida, all decked out in lights. I love, love, love the Santa hats. Really cute touch. Very, very cool. Here comes Aquaview. On board the Coral Springs Chinese Cultural Association, that organization provides Chinese language school and arts classes. On board, dancers in traditional costumes that go back centuries. Including the lions and tigers. On top, the money god. It's supposed to shower you with good fortune during the upcoming Chinese year. Next year is the year of the horse. That should be interesting. The Winterfest organization is proud to give back to the community. Every year, Winterfest contributions allow a number of charities to enter the boat parade, including the Chinese Cultural Association. Uh-oh, looks like somebody stole Santa's sleigh. Actually, the elves have stolen the sleigh and are taking it out for Joyride aboard the Minnow. Give it up for the Minnow, everybody. Wow, this is really cool. They have some smoke coming out of the back. Ah, uh, I feel relaxed already. Massage Envy on board. The Kali Nikta. You know that means a good night in Greek. It would be a great night if I could get a massage. Brenda and Scott Knight of Pompano Beach own one of the Massage Envy franchises in Pompano. You might recognize the folks on this next boat. It's the Power Boating in Paradise TV show presented by the Florida Power Boat Club. The show airs on Fox Sun Sports Network and is the longest running power boating program in the U.S. They are decorated with over 3,000 lights and on the back of the boat is an eight foot TV screen projecting images of the show. Can we get a look of it? Here's the Neptune on board tonight, the Be Kind to Animal Rescue. They are a great organization dedicated to caring for dogs and cats that are abused, neglected, or homeless. They focus on senior pets and those with special needs. Theme is rescued in paradise. They have lots of blow up animals on board and friends and family. Oh, I love that little dog being pulled in that float right there. It definitely represents the animal rescue. Hey guys. Waving their lights. 
dancing. They decorated amazing. British Invasion coming up the New River on the Insatiable. They have a live Beatles cover band on board. A British flag on there. They are really getting into our Passport to Paradise theme tonight. Over 900 feet of red, white, and blue lights, and a Christmas tree with presents on the front of the boat, and a 3D sleigh and reindeer on the bow of the boat. They also painted the windows with artwork. Check it out. Penny Lane, Abbey Road. Look at those girls with the British flag dresses. There is a major Beatles theme going on here. I love, love, love the sparkling dresses. They're only of the Spice Girls. Broward's Children's Center aboard. The Facetious. This is another group that helps kids with special needs. They have homes, hospitals, and daycares for the most severely disabled children. They've got the reindeer on board this boat full of lights. The type of vessel is a 58-foot sea ray. Briney's Irish Pub. Here's the riverfront cruise boat. People from the general public actually can ride on this boat for the parade. On board tonight, American Young, which is up and coming country duo. Briney's Irish Pub helping out with the decorations. I guess that's why we see that big green clover. Riverfront does cruises all year long, so check it out. I like the stars. This is a 55 foot sea taxi catamaran charter boat. Here comes Anticipation 4, all decked out in white. The Cardiac Research Institute at Masonic Medical Research Laboratory is on board. That group has had a global impact on the world of cardiology. They have contributed to the research and development of things like the pacemaker, defibrillators, and major cardiac medications. Anticipation 4 does private parties and corporate events. They're on a 115-foot charter boat. Wow, that looks like a good party to me. They have a boatload of people on there. Oh, we recognize that face. There's Julia Dale on the Miss Bradford. You might recognize her from the Miami Heat games. She was considered their lucky charm in the 2012 season. This classic boat owned by Bradford Marine is all decked out in traditional holiday themes. Julia Dale is one of our greatest local talents. Her voice is fantastic. If you haven't heard it, get to a, Nick, uh, um, a heat game soon. Julia is belting out the tunes tonight as usual, keeping us dancing. Deck the halls is what she's singing. She's Great got song a, selection. She's got a big voice for such a little girl. What a voice. Incredible. Thank you. She's so Merry cute. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Julia. Here's another classic boat. This one is a 1964 Chris Craft Constellation. JR and Don Davis have had this in their family since it was new. This boat came from its hailing port of Chicago for tonight. Not oh, much boating going on in Chicago this time of year. Look, they've even got a little dog on board. A chihuahua of sorts. Very nice family. This is the last known museum piece of Chris Craft's crown jewel of the past. Here's another classic boat. Lou Jesimer roofing on board. The Shireen was built in 1929 for the director of the Philadelphia Shipyard. During World War II, Shireen patrolled the East Coast looking for U-boats, even had machine gun mounted on the bow. 
The owner, Lou, is a collector of antique boats. He liked Shireen's history, so he bought her. Oh, look at those two little boys up top. They are party. Come on, boys, show us what you got. Keeping it festive with that huge Christmas tree on top. And those icicles surrounding the perimeter of the top of the boat. Oh, they've got a little dance for us. Gangnam style, all right. They know how to please the crowd. There she goes. Here's another beautiful classic yacht. This is a 1965 Trumpy yacht. It was built for James L. Knight of the Miami Herald. The boat still has the original engines. They did a major restoration about eight years ago. It is one of the most beautiful Trumpy yachts afloat today. Ted Conklin owns it now. He uses it in Palm Beach in the winter travels to Long Island in the summer. Some nice lights and wreaths on the window. Check out this beautiful boat, the Aurora 2. A famous yacht builder, John Trumpy, designed this as one of his own showboats. When he closed his business in the 70s, rumor has it, he burned all the plans for his luxury boats so no one else could make them. The Aurora 2 is now owned by Moore's Marine, which specializes in restoring these boats. Bradford Marine towing aboard the Hero tonight. Marine Industries Association of South Florida, which promotes boating as the lifestyle of South Florida, is also on board. Hero honors our country with red, white, and blue lights on nearly every inch of the boat. On board tonight, Skip Ahoy, the Winterfest mascot. Hi, Skippy. You can see Hero escorting all the big boats up and down the New River all the time. Here's the Laura Key, decked out in red and white. They have the rock band Faulty Jack on board. The Laura Key is available for charter at any time. Tons of lights, red and white themed. They won Best in Sound last year. Definitely hear the rock band, Faulty Jack. Here's the off duty. They have about 3,000 lights on board, the off duty. And on the boat, lots of friends and family. And they're playing Christmas music. Very, very festive. They keep adding decorations every year. Wave hello to the off-duty. Ah, here comes Kids in Distress Duck Fest Derby Boat. Kids in Distress helps neglected and abused children in South Florida. They have their big fundraiser in March, the Duck Fest Derby, which benefits over 11,000 families. The good folks over at JM Family Enterprises are a big supporter. I love how the duck is wearing shades. Now that's a cool duck. That's a great float on top. So South Florida. Here's another great charity group, Construction Angels aboard the Show Me. They help families of construction workers killed on the job. Now check this out. The reindeer is driving the asphalt roller. He even has a safety vest on. You should look for those vests on the road and slow down to protect our construction workers. What day is it? It's not Wednesday. No, it's Winterfest Day. The Geico Insurance Offshore Race Team has a camel aboard caveman. Owner Gary Goodwill, 
Goodell on board with all of his elves. Miss Gecko Offshore Racing Team has won eight world championships. Lots of lights decorating the boat. This is a 40-foot cigarette boat. Love it. Here comes the whirlwind with Shake a Leg Miami on board. Shake a Leg helps kids of all abilities get out on the water and sail, surf, you name it. Cameron Adder is the captain of the boat tonight. He started out as a camper there. So this is all about accessibility and possibilities. Wheelchairs decorating the boat. Along with puzzle pieces that represent autism. Here's a pretty boat from a great organization. Daryl Gwynn Foundation back for their second year in the parade. They help people who need wheelchairs. Nine-year-old Gino LaViola on board. He just got a much needed $20,000 custom power wheelchair from the Daryl Gwynn Foundation. Thank you for all you do. They're a boy independence. Wow, this one's colossal. It's actually 120 feet long. It's a luxury yacht. It's Help, helping people get wheelchairs, such a great cause. Next up, we have boat number 26. Danielle DeMarzo Foundation aboard the Father's Day. This, this is, is a the group that helps special needs children. They plan activities for kids who otherwise might not get to do them, like dolphins games and plays. It's an all-volunteer organization. Recently, they took over 400 kids to Disney on ice. That's Lights cool. and gift boxes decorating the boat. Here's the water taxi island discovery with the Habitat for Humanity on board. They have big lighted sunglasses on there and blue light waves, nice big palm trees. Habitat builds homes for low income families and they've served 351 families in Broward County since 1983. Wow. Habitat Humanity is doing great things every day. What an incredible accomplishment. They do so much for them, for us, and we're so grateful for them. They build some amazing homes for these families in need. Nearly 3,000 lights on the first love and some icicle lights around the railing. Captain Fred says this boat was his first love, which is how it got its name. Of course, his wife now says he named the boat after her. This is their second year in the parade. Welcome back, first love. You're looking at a 38-foot Southern Cross sailboat. Here comes Slip Away with some familiar characters on board. The Cat in the Hat, Little Red Riding Hood, and a 7-foot Gingerbread Man. The Fort Lauderdale Women's Club on board, they are building a reading garden for kids set to open in 2015. Ah, that's why we see all those classic characters. Meg Taylor Music and the entertainment helping them out with this one. Look how cute that gingerbread bread man is. They look amazing. Here is the Paralyzed Vets of America aboard Tranquility. This Fort Lauderdale organization serves veterans who are injured in the line of duty. They help vets with spinal cord and other injuries. They have been doing this since 1956 and do great work. About 7,000 lights decorating this entry. Friends, family, and disabled vets on board. All aboard this 35-foot catamaran. It's I nice like the vets get to get out tonight and enjoy the parade as well. Yeah, they deserve it. Here is the Island Adventure. On board two great organizations, Wings of Gold, which is a big part of the annual Toys in the Sun run, 
collecting toys for needy kids. Also on board, Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital volunteers. They are the people who help families who have children in the cancer ward. Toys in the Sun Run donates toys and money to Joe DiMaggio's. And there are lots of lights and motorcycles on board. Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital constantly helping out the kids around here. A salute to our military aboard Island Expedition tonight. Look at this. So stoic, but beautiful. On board tonight, Brigadier General Sean Mulholland is actually administering the oath of enlistment to 50 enlistees of all branches of the military. That's uh, what you're seeing right now. Lots of servicemen on board. They're decked out in festive lights and the five seals of the branches of the military. And there's a 20-foot replica of the two Iwo Jima statue on top. Our community salutes focuses on honoring young men and women going into the service. Hold a special ceremony for them as they join up. You know karma counts. And this boat has good karma for our troops. It's another patriotic boat all decked out in red, white, and blue. Their wish is for our troops to be home for the holidays. They have friends on board the karma counts. This boat was donated for the parade by Unlimited Marine Services. Decorations are done by Big Tuna. Ooh, I love that girl up front in the American flag dress. They're aboard a 34-foot open fisherman. I like their use of garland here. We've got some red, some white, and blue. I love all of the flags. It looks amazing. Nice tribute to our country and our troops. What is that lurking in the water? I see red eyes coming up. That's the multiple award-winning Native Village Gator Barge aboard Miss Shell 2. The Gator Boys are on board doing their thing with live alligators. So is David the Cobra Kid, Weathers who was the 2013 season opening act on America's Got Talent. Wow, America's Got Talent. That's awesome. You know, the Gator Boys and David are known to hang out at the Native Village on the Seminole Reservation on State Road 7. V&M Erectors and Bonte Crane making this happen. Look at that, a real live gator on board. I'm so nervous for him. Hopefully it isn't Chomp. I love how the mouth opens up. This is very cool how they did this tonight. Very sophisticated mechanics, architecture. A lot of thought went into this design and structure. Look at those teeth. The Gator Boys will not be missed on the water tonight. Gators are such. There's a big fire on board too. They have people tossing fire. Wow. I think that's the most dangerous boat we've seen yet. Gators and fire live. This boat is taking a lot of big risks tonight. Look at those red eyes on that gator. A lot of big risks, but I think it'll be a good decision on their part. A big reward. It'll pay off. Very Come on, man, let's go to Hawaii. This is the Come On Man owned by West Insurance of Florida. They're having a good old Hawaiian beach party on board. This may be a little boat, but you can hear them. Now come on, play some good music. Nice signage. It's five o'clock somewhere. The type of vessel you're looking at is a 20 foot center console. They are making themselves heard all around the parade.
Here comes Chabad Lubavitch of Fort Lauderdale aboard Flamingo. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. They are in the parade every year and always have great music. Flamingo is a character charter boat. The owners and crew of Flamingo decorate for the synagogue every year. Good work, Flamingo. I love the dreidel up top and the menorah, and they've got the Star of Davids. Representing Hanukkah on the water tonight. Here's the South Beach Lady with the AIDS and Healthcare Foundation on board. This boat looks great every year. They have big red ribbons and white snowflakes and a great laser show. The crowd is loving this one. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation provides quality care for over 250,000 clients in 33 countries around the world. Providing everything from advocacy to cutting edge medicine even when clients can't pay for it. These are the folks that do the Florida AIDS Walk and Music Festival every year. Their whole team is on board. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Looking great. This is a Journey of Hope boat from the Children's Diagnostic and Treatment Center. That's their signature sunflower on the mast. It grows as the spectators along the parade route water it with hope. The center serves 10,000 children every year this year's boat is in honor of Matthew Arnold. Matthew is a nine years old and has cerebral palsy. He lives each day with the hope in his heart. Young Marines and toys for tots on this boat. Also aboard Teamwork, the BNI Foundation, which helps bring a good education to children around the globe. They're playing out of the toy soldier routine. When the gun goes pop, they all fall down. Marines and Toys for Tots work together to make sure every little boy and girl get a gift for Christmas. Very, very selfless thing to do. Even if their parents can't afford them. Also on board, the BNI Foundation. They help bring a good education to children around the globe. I love those stallions up front. Reminds me of Central Park in New York City. And I love the pink lights on the tree. So beautiful. There goes our passport to paradise taking us to Holland aboard the Zealander. This is a Dutch made boat, so they decided to go with a Dutch theme. I see the tulips. They're on there somewhere. The Galleria at Fort Lauderdale Reindeer are back this year. The Galleria is sharing their signature red reindeer to help light the way for Santa. Rudolph and his friends stand over 26 feet tall on top of the yacht. Wave to Miss Florida Teen USA, Natalie Fialo. Hey, Natalie. Six baby reindeer are keeping Rudolph company aboard Caprice. You know the Galleria reindeer are a must-see holiday light attraction. Of course, if the reindeer are here, you know what's next. Santa, of course. Natalie's on there somewhere. Miss Florida Teen USA coming out to show some support for the 2013 Winterfest Boat Parade. Ho, ho, ho! Here's the man of the hour we've all been waiting for, the jolly man himself. Baptist Health South Florida teamed up with Homestead Miami Speedway to get Santa here quickly. The Jungle Queen is decorated with the Baptist Health logo and their signature pineapples and the Homestead Miami track. I wonder if Santa is trading in his sleigh for a race car. What do you think? What a terrific holiday message Baptists is sending with some of South Florida's underserved children on board. This is a showboat with the spirit of the season. Everyone, enjoy uh -huh. a ha happy 
and healthy holiday. Hi Santa, I've been good, I promise. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you to the Riverside Hotel this evening. and to the Winterfest organization for all of their efforts. All right, folks, it looks like it's a wrap. It was smooth sailing for all of the boats tonight. Everyone involved had a boatload of fun, especially Jessica and I from Ion South Florida. That's it for now. For Ion South Florida, I'm Paige Bresky. And I'm Jessica Kuzovitsky. And we'd also like to thank Fort Lauderdale TV Channel 78 for airing this amazing Winterfest boat parade. Thanks for watching and happy holidays, everyone. Here's a little ditty about Winterfest. All the boats and homes decked out to be called the best. Colorful lights, adding sparkle to the night. Yes, I think we're on a roll. It's so fancy, Seminole.